Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for clicking on this video and welcome back to your lovely faces. Sitcoms. You either love them or you hate them. To be honest with you, I actually do like sitcoms, I do love sitcoms to be honest and if I feel like I'm on a bit of a downer, a bit, I just feel a bit, uh, you know, I'll put a sitcom on. I do have a, a number of shows that I will put on that will just make me, even if I don't laugh out loud, but they will make me feel... Feel a bit more like, hmm, oh yeah, you know, get a little bit more happier inside. Those are Simon Pegg's classical Spaced, which is my favourite sitcom of all time. You've got Only Fools and Horses, you've got Friends, and to be honest with you, you've also got Mrs. Brown's Boys. Here in the UK, it's Mrs. Brown's Boys is very much like Gavin and Stacey. You either love it or you hate it. And the people who hate it, for some unknown reason, they just like to go on Twitter and everything else, and they will just, they'll just try and get the show cancelled, which it kind of makes me laugh, because what we're going to look at now is, if you're watching the show, you are making the BBC go, oh, we got viewers, we'll keep that going. So this is what we got. Please put this show out of its misery. Mrs. Brown's Boys is accused of ruining New Year's Day as furious viewers brand unfunny sitcom worse than Megatron. I'm going to call it Megatron, not the uh, other name. So Mrs. Brown's Boys has been accused of ruining 2022, even though it's only the third day of 2022, with its New Year's Day special with disgruntled licensed players begging the BBC to cancel the show. The Irish sitcom starring actor Brendan O'Callaghan and his family as the titular Mrs. Brown has come under fire on Twitter, with users taking to the platform the brand the show unfunny and worse in testing positive. One joke that failed to impress saw Granda deliver a one line in the beginning, there was murder in the flats last night, a man was beaten to death with a fish. To Roger's laughter from the studio audience, he quipped, they think it was Jack the Kipper. You know, alright. Bit of a giggle, but that's about it. And that's Mrs. Brown. And obviously that's Brendo Cow dressed up as Mrs. Brown. And it's kind of funny because that actually looks like one of my uh, my grandfather's old girlfriends. Which we always used to take the mick out of because she was the spitting image of him. But then the gag led to many at home expressing the desire for the show to be cancelled. And blasted it worse than the beer bug. One viewer tweeted, Please put this show out of its misery, BBC Scotland. It's had its day. Another echoed, fingers crossed that 2022 is a year that Mrs. Brown Boys gets cancelled. A third claimed, sooner catch Happy New Year's Megatron than watch Mrs. Brown's Boys. Several others said that the January the 1st episode had spoiled the new year, writing, well, 2022 couldn't get off to a much worse start, Mrs. Brown's Boys is on TV. And... You got all these here, you know. What is it with the beep's obsession with its unfunny pile of poo? There again, when the last time they actually broadcasted something funny? Fingers crossed the year we just had that one. Police put the show of his misery. Sooner catch Megatron. It's just come on, what's going here? It was going so well. Couldn't get off to a much worse start. Falls at the first hurdle. And with that, it's, you know, it's very, very true. Because if you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. Turn over to something else. No one's forcing you to watch uh, BBC One or their programming. And the way that these people are going on saying, oh, well, this wasn't funny, or that wasn't funny, and they keep going on. And I will say there's a lot of people out there, like I said, who either hate it or love it. But the BBC doesn't care if you like it or not. If you tune in and it shows that it's got millions of people watching it, they will keep it going. They always do, because this is what happens with shows. If it's got a lot of viewers, people will watch it. If it hasn't, then they'll think about getting rid of it. That's how it goes. But then you just go on to say, however, some people were full of praise for the comedy. So you had Mrs. Brown's Boys never fails to make me smile. I really don't know why everyone hates Mrs. Brown's Boys. It's our favourite sitcom in my family. You got, as a huge Mrs. Brown's uh, Boys fan, to all the ones who say it ruined 2022... Why don't those haters create, write, pitch their own comedy creations to the networks? Very, very true. Then get a 10 plus year career out of your show. 10 plus years of sellout tours, which they do. Every single time they put out a tour, it sells out across the world. 
the films, the films made money as well. The first ever Mrs. Brown's boy film was actually called Mrs. Brown and it starred Angelica Houston as Mrs. Brown. Merchandise and the BAFTA Awards. In the past year, been played with controversy, slammed for his backstage politics. This is actually last year now, where two of his actors reportedly quit the show because of a pay gap. The actors in question, Damien McKeeran and Gary Hollywood, who play couple Dino and Rory, were said to have discovered that they earn less than the rest of the cast, which is largely made up of star Brendan O'Carroll's family. But the thing is, right, okay, uh, Gary Hollywood, I can see why he was upset, because he's been in the show ever since the start. He should be on reasonably near or the same as the family. Damien McKeeran has only been in it for like two or three episodes. So to me, it's like, mate, you haven't even got the skill for that yet. You know, but that's what we got by there. And obviously, here we go. We got him and his wife. But uh, an insider exclusively told the Mail on uh, line last year that the way the show is run behind the scenes makes for an unhappy work environment. The show is very upstairs, downstairs, very clear divide between Brendan's family and the few actual actors, such as Gary and Damien. The family are all directors of the Mrs. Brown's uh, production company and are always looked after. The BBC let Brandon do whatever he wants. Thing is, like I was saying, he brings in the money because people watch the shows. Again, with the way the BBC is run here, it's not, uh, it's not how it is like... With ITV, Channel 4, which have adverts and commercials, which generate the revenue. Because here in the UK, when the World Cup or the uh, the finals are being played, those TV spots, exactly how they are for, like, you know, the uh, Super Bowl, they go for a very, very pretty uh, amount of money. But let's just have a little look. Mrs. Brown's Boys uh, New Year's Day Ratings. Let's see how many people watch the show, dude. Yep. You know, viewers. So, we did have a little look see. People bang of cancellation. So, we got all of these. These viewers divided. Right, they haven't put them out yet. So, because normally, whenever they show Mrs. Brown's boys over the last couple of years, except. In 2019, when Gavin and Stacey was the most uh, watched special, because they were gone for just for over a decade. Mrs. Brown's Boys was always winning the viewers. Always. Their specials. You And this happens every year as well. People, oh, get rid of it. Get rid of it. Well, stop watching the show. You know, people will see that the ones who don't like it, if they're not switching on, then those views will show. But these people, they just don't actually know that. Because they just think, oh, I don't like this. Why are you doing this? And to be honest with you, you're giving them the money. Because you're watching it, you know? You're, <laughs> I, I really do find it funny. It's like with a new Matrix film. It costs like $200 million to make. And it's going to be uh, like losing like $150, $197 million the most. It's not making this money because it's not a bad film. But it's not exactly, oh my god, that is movie groundbreaking like the first was. But that's a different video for a different time. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.